Hi, I'm Sean Douglas, Assistive Tech Reviewer for the Codpast, and today I have a piece of tech to review for you called the Reader Pen from C Pen. Now, as a dyslexic writer and blogger, I rely heavily on text to speech and online dictionaries, but there are going to be times when I will need to encounter hard copies. Now, what can I do in those situations? So, we do have OCR apps on our phones which can take pictures of the text and turn it into speech that can be read back to us, or we can rely on the good old dictionary. Now these are great options, but as a reluctant reader, you will find any excuse not to read and trying to look through a dictionary or get your iPad out and scan things and get things read back to you can be a bit of a pain. So to get around some of those things, the reader pen from C Pen may be a great alternative. The way this pen works is it works similar to a normal highlighter, but being digital, it scans the words into its memory and can access over 180,000 definitions from the Collins Dictionary. Uh, so I'll show you how it works. We'll use uh, one of my childhood favourites uh, and I'll open this at the first page. Now the thing about using text to speech on your iPad or maybe an online dictionary is it means that you are taken away from the text that you're reading. Also it means you can't be that spontaneous. If you want to read a book and need assistance, you need your laptop set up or your smartphone near, um, a pen like this makes life a little bit easier. So if we set this onto the dictionary function, I can simply read through my text and when I get to a word that I don't understand, scan it, hear how it's pronounced, find the definition and continue with the story. So um, I'll just try this on the first paragraph of this book. Uh, when he was nearly 13, my brother Jem got his arm badly broken at the elbow. When it healed and Jem's fears of never being able to play football were, and instantly on the third line, we've come to a word that I actually don't know how to pronounce or understand. So I would say that's Asujed, um, but let's see what the, C pen, reader pen tells me. So I simply place the pen over the word, drag it across the word, assuaged, and instantly I've been told this word is actually pronounced assuaged. Um, I still don't know what that word means, so if I go through the uh, dictionary, you can set the pen to read this for you or you can just go through it yourself. Here it says, to soothe, moderate or relieve grief or pain. The second definition is to give relief, to thirst, appetite etc to satisfy and the third is to pacify and calm so that makes sense to me now I can read this sentence instantly know now that once Jem's fears of never being able to play football had calmed down he was never self-conscious about his injury um, so I mean I'll go through that again and you can see how well that works in the stream of reading so when healed and Jem's fears of never being able to play football were Waged. he was seldom self-conscious about his injury and that is a really powerful way to understand what you're reading and get clarification and pronunciations as you read through the story as well as scanning single words for clarity you can scan whole sentences and use this pen similar to text to speech for the physical world in the text reader mode now i can scan whole sentences with these when he was nearly 13 my brother Jem got his arm badly broken at the elbow when it healed and Jem's. So there you see this can be used as a comprehension tool rather than just a tool for finding definitions and that opens up huge possibilities. We all remember having a book that we were rarely engrossed in, you know, under the covers with a torch and this pen can give reluctant readers that same experience. Um, now there are products on the market that do a similar thing. I mean this is one of the leading pens uh, that are out there at the moment um, and you know if you look at these two products you instantly see there's a huge difference in size and this kind of looks a little bit cooler, looks a bit more than something that you know Apple or Samsung would probably be quite proud of that design. And that's quite important. When you're giving something to children that may have self-confidence issues, uh, they don't want to be walking around with something which looks a bit odd and people will be asking, what's that you're using? 
Um, vanity aside, the slick and modern design of the C Pen means that it can be used by much younger children. And that's not just because of the technological advances inside the pen, but the ergonomics and small size of this pen means that it can be held by much younger children. If you take a further look around these pens, you can see there's a fundamental difference in the way they scan text. Uh, the Wiscom has a kind of older uh, flatbed scanner type thing. You can see the red light flashing. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but the C Pen has a camera. Um, and that is really useful, meaning that you don't need to be as precise when you're scanning, meaning this pen is much more suited to people that have issues with motor skills or just allows you to scan quicker and more precisely with less effort. All of those advances in the C Pen make for a much smoother operation, which I'll demonstrate for you now. So if we take it to another page, and I can then scan across, wait for it to uh, read the script, Okay, so there's a little bit of a delay between scanning and the pen reading back. The voice, it sounds quite robotic and at some points a little difficult to understand. Um, and so we can now contrast that with uh, the experience you get with a C pen. Uh, so I'll scan that same uh, paragraph or sentence. She loved everything that grew in God's earth, even the... So instantly you get instant playback and that voice sounds much more human. Um, things don't stop there. So taking into account that you can scan paragraphs, you can use this like a digital highlighter. So whereas when you would be highlighting books for reference or to get quotes, you would take potentially take a normal highlighter and highlight or make a photocopy and highlight the photocopy. You know, either way you have to go through extra hassle or you have to kind of damage the book. Um, you can do that with this pen and it will digitally highlight your text. You can plug this into your PC, Mac or even Linux computer. This will act like a hard drive which then you can drag those files onto your desktop or into any folder. One of the ways I really like to use the scan to file function on this pen is to plug it into my PC and use the pen to scan directly directly into an open Word document. So the way you do that is uh, the pen comes with a USB cable that can be used for data transfer and charging. You just plug that into your PC and instantly I can then scan and that will appear directly on my screen which is a pretty good way to do research. So that kind of functionality opens this pen up to a much wider audience. Uh, now I can see it being used by university students or even in industry and commerce. You know, that's a really useful tool for someone that needs to do a lot of research from physical media. But the extra functions don't stop there. Another great touch is the dictaphone that is built into this pen. Um, so you can take this into lectures, into meetings, record what you want to record and not have to write things down, which for me I always find is a really good way to retain information from meetings. One other really cool touch is there is a built-in mp3 player so you can listen to music and keep yourself entertained while you work. Um, thankfully, you'll be pleased to know that there is a headphone jack at the bottom of the pen. So if you are listening to music or listening to playback in public places, you probably want to use that. Um, also, this doesn't take external batteries. It's got an internal battery that you can charge via the USB cable. Just plug that into your laptop um, and that charges in about 20 minutes on, on, you know, get a full charge for that. I've had this out the box. It was fully charged and I haven't charged it once. Um, another great great thing that it does is um, because there's so much processing power in this pen uh, when there are upgrades available for this pen you can download those so your pen keeps improving after the point of purchase. Uh, it also comes with a few little bits and bobs in the pack you get a nice little leather-esque case to uh, carry it around it and, and stop getting it scratched and uh, you also get the USB cable for data transfer and charging. So that's it in a nutshell, the C Pen Reader Pen. If you want more information, it's down there in the comments below if you're watching this on YouTube. So once again, the C Pen Reader Pen.